Hi, John here. I just want to show you my lunch. I uh, went out with Brett today and um, went to Toby's Fisheries in Papatotai and we had some nice kinners. This is kinners there and some raw fish. Raw fish there. It was yummy. And some chips and some fish. And these little blighters, this is fried bread. Beautiful, beautiful. I loved it, loved it. And some drinks. Um, so, uh, just want to let you know. Thank you, Brett. It was very good. The only way to my heart is in my stomach. Yes, it was very nice. Uh, so, this is a little bird's eye view. Here's the fish somewhere in there. And the, the raw fish and kinners. See, you can see the kinners. See? And this thing was full up. And we couldn't eat it all. Some chicken over there. Some little chickens. Yeah, so. Uh, and that's my day, uh, really. Uh, today I just want to let you know that I'm supposed to be uh, uh, sorting out 61 Cook Street. Uh, but I had a late night and. Um, um, got up, woken up early this morning, four o'clock, Sue Nakora. Just wondering how I'm getting on. She's getting anxious to go uh, overseas with the uh, Maori Confederation government. We're all ready to go, actually. Uh, let you know that uh, Charles Hirschfeld, he's the uh, um, criminal barrister, has been with the treaty claims for her down in uh, Uepohatu, East Coast. And for my Maui Wanoa Uetaha uh, treaty claims as well. We, we were the last to get our claim in uh, and register an interest in the uh, to getting a, a new number, wine number. So I have to get that in uh, pretty quick. But we only wanted that on record. We didn't want to settle. We just only wanted to uh, connect in contract with the um, Crown. New Zealand government. Okay, that's why we joined the uh, Waitaki Tribunal uh, to get involved with the Maori side of things. So that's uh, uh, the 61 Cook Street um, lien, commercial lien warrant. Um, I'm supposed to be writing a letter today, which I will be, to um, Detective Senior Sergeant Aaron Pascoe. Uh, just to let them know, I'm going back on to 61 Cook Street, it's supposed to be today, 21st, uh, but I'm going to leave it uh, until tomorrow. Um, I've got uh, our um, private investigator, Graham Allen, um, involved now, and also another uh, BCOM fraud um, um, person who's joined us. So we've got four palms now. One. Uh, the private investigator to the fraud become um, what you call it he's, a, uh, he's going to be the uh, security man um, bodyguard sort of thing uh, when we travel around the world and also uh, uh, aircraft uh, surveillance man he's um, uh, responsible for um, uh, training our pilots uh, military pilots or, or otherwise helicopter pilots passenger airline pilots. So he's with us and uh, he will uh, uh, set up all the security right through the whole shipping and, and airlines. Just for real. Um, yes, and the other uh, pump, the fourth pump, is the banker. He will be doing the pound note levy against the fraudsters. Okay, anybody's fraud, uh, the debt bill goes against you and uh, start printing the pound note against your debts. Okay, so we've got Cook Street, five billion pound notes, uh, currency, uh, against the 13 people that we have um, accused and they have failed to respond. That's a commercial lien contract. Now they are default in locked and unfortunately um, Aaron Detective 
Senior Sergeant Aaron Pascoe has got himself mixed up with them. Okay? So there's no way he's going to support us or assist anyway with us to apprehend defraudsters. Okay? We have to do it ourselves. They have no power to stop us going on to that land because it's our land. Now the title changes. Okay? <coughs> land information, LINS, uh, uh, supposed to, by law, under Te Turi Whenua Act, transfer or put the financial interest, the interest of Manaka, the Parapara, the Kafuru, the Wānoa, uh, interests onto that property that we're seizing. It's supposed to be put on. They rejected our interests. Okay, so that, that's a, a, a serious matter of titles in this country. Now, the titles come under admiralty law. That's who we are, King. I'm here speaking for the King of England, okay? For King William IV, he is the inventor uh, of the commercial, um, um, commercial trading bank flag jurisdiction of, of commerce. King's Commerce, King's Bench, Courts, Judge. we got to have one judge, a Maori judge, supposed to be in all the courts in New Zealand with the other European judge. That never happened under this system of Maui Crown Confederation. <coughs> the, the British government, not the Crown, the British government and the Navy, the Royal Navy of Britain, is...
That's how they always got away. But this guy opened his mouth. When he said, no, I don't think you're going to go on 61 Cook Street. That constituted a third party interference in our contract, my contract with Doug Ricard Bell and a bad title to the land block there. So I'm seizing the bad title back into these names I told you that are the landlords here in Auckland. Okay? The original native title landowners in Auckland. So that's all I wanted to say today is that I'm just uh, having a little break before we go into the next stage of that. We're taking it quite easy uh, in stages uh, not to, uh, not to uh, spoil anything of this claim. Okay, so that's what I, I, I will do now, is leave it until I get the letters to uh, PASCO completed and to the Secretary of State in Britain to assist us to arrest anybody in this country New Zealand for the fraud and we're accusing the police of assisting and aiding and abetting the fraudsters here on Cook Street. Okay, they're in it now. You can't get out of it. Out of a contract. When you know contract law, you're talking to contract law uh, um, cases that we know what we're doing. Okay, Mr. Pasco, we know what we're doing here. These are our lands. You're here as a visitor, and you could be sent back where you come from after we've gone overseas with the Maori government and Confederation and come back. When the elections are set, that's when we're likely to move in and take over. We're here to take this country back, okay? Just to let you know, you'll be working for us or working for someone else overseas. Thank you very much. Uh, it's um, Tuesday today, 21st of uh, January 2014. Have a nice day and see you again soon. Bye for now. I enjoyed my lunch. Thank you, Brett. That was nice of you. Good thought. And Jamie, eat your heart out. We're getting ready. Bye.